It's death row to Canada, baby. Awesome. All right, I fixed it. Hey, we're here. We're live. What's up? I'm Bear Taffy. You just came from the NLSS. Hello, welcome. This is Death Road to Canada. It's a uh, welcome to the Bear Pile. Subaru. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Thank you very much for the subscription. This is an FTL meets Oregon Trail with zombies sort of deal, and uh, I think that more or less explains it. So yeah, there we go. We're gonna start up a brand new game, empty game slot, and I'll probably just go with random characters. I don't think I know enough about this to uh, really worry about who my leader and my buddy are. So let's go with Dominic and Carissa. That sounds good. Let's do it. Start her up. Dominic he hears rumors that Canada is a safe place. Free of the threat of zombies, with nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. To the road. Actually impossible, it really is. Welcome everybody. The group goes through an empty town with no supplies to be found and little zombie activity. One small hotel seems to have more undead roaming through it than the rest. That sounds good. So, that's the, uh, that's the event scrolling aspect of Death Road to Canada there. And then here's the actual gameplay part. Running around smashing zombies in the face. Pretty killer soundtrack to go along with it too, which I have really enjoyed. I've actually played like a run or two of this already. And, uh, found that it's pretty damn difficult. I found myself running out of food, like, almost every time. So, any food that we can get, obviously, is gonna be worthwhile to me. I was usually okay with weapons, and... Gasoline never really turned into a huge problem for me, but I'm assuming that things will change through every run. We'll probably run lower on some resources than others this time. Hey, Fitz, welcome, man. Florida, wow, Bear, when did you retire? I know, right? You have returned. Gekker with a 34 months in a row resubscription. Hey, man. Welcome back. Thank you very much for that continued support. So you can switch to your uh, other character at any point as well. You can also change their tactics. So uh, I, I think I'm typically going to keep them in the middle unless things are going particularly crazy. It, although it is definitely worth considering the fact that if you have a gun, you can make sure that they're not, like, prioritizing the gun over a different weapon because you want to try to preserve that ammo in most cases. So, yeah, we'll just keep these here for now, though. You can switch between the, the uh, party leaders to be able to control whoever you want. That's more or less it. But it's it's really fun, man. I've been having a good time with it. I got sucked into my first run for sure, and uh, now that I know a little bit more about what I'm looking for and what I should prioritize and that sort of stuff, I think I'm going to try to uh, employ my findings here. I know you shouldn't come in on bits of the dumbest shit, I just don't call that. I don't really have a strong opinion on bits. I don't think it's worth getting upset or even having a discussion about, to be honest. Totally entitled to your own pity, though. Obviously. Hey, Milkman Cometh, what's up? You're here for the salt? Yeah, I expect quite a bit of salt, honestly. I haven't been, like... I don't know, I, I'm trying to determine whether or not I've been screwed over by RNG already in the runs I've had, and I don't think I would say I have. I think it's really just like poor understanding, poor planning on my part that's really done me over through the course of my runs. I don't know if I've done enough exploring of the areas I've been in either, like I'm pretty sure, yeah, right here for example, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be something in there that I might have missed. Cobalt has been doing really well in this bear, so I'll ask him if you got any questions. I hear Cobalt's been enjoying this one, man. Dick Hammer's been playing quite a bit of this, too, I think. It's a good time. The soundtrack is terrific. That much I'm already damn sure of. Alright, we're gonna try to, uh, try to lure these dudes up here so we're not exhausting ourselves trying to comb through five or six zombies. I think your current leader is weak with melee, going red fast. You might be right about that, actually. Hold on, let's see. Can we get a... Yeah, look at the status real quick, I guess. Dominic is... But we don't know his strength at the moment. Unknown to anyone, allergic to everything in Canada. You have returned. Astral Stalker, 31 months. Thank you very much for the resub, man. So we got our party leader here. On the death road to Canada. A place... In which he is allergic to everything. Seems, yeah, this is gonna work. This is a good move. I like it. 
I think we'll succeed. I think we'll thrive. So this is the biggest part that I am struggling to uh, find the counter to. Is that every time we eat, we have four food. And that happens, I'm pretty sure, like every single day, so... I don't know, I'm not, I'm not really sure how to... How to combat that. The group spies a city from a distance. There's more undead than usual, but it's early in the day, so they should be groggy. At least at first. Apartment with a help banner or a sporting goods store? Oh, I missed the door? Shit, see, yeah, exactly. They, I, I need to pay more attention, alright. What do you think, chat? The apartment with the help banner or the sporting goods store? I can't, I can't decide. The redness and sweat is based on fitness, not strength. Okay, good, good to know. I'll probably, yeah, you know what, I, I am gonna welcome tips like that, at least like things that are relevant to what's going on. Cause I, I'm pretty sure I'm missing out on quite a few different things within this game. Zonday 64, it sure did, man, thank you for cheering. Appreciate the bits, dude. Sporting goods store, help banner, sporting... Alright, we're looking heavily leaning towards sporting goods store here. Alright, let's do it. Fine by me. Let's boogie! Welcome to the Bear Pile. Angelic Death 91. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Oh my god, I just took a bunch of damage. Holy shit. Welcome to the Bear Pile, man. Thank you very, very much for the support. I appreciate it. Oh, there's a lot of food in here, though. Okay, we have a... A good situation on our hands, but I could also be getting eaten. Oh no, no, lady! Oh god! Jesus! Wow! <laughs> that is a dangerous area. Um We gotta go. Oh shit, no. I might already be like completely screwed. <laughs> that was a lot of damage we just took. Oh, we gotta get out of here, man. We gotta go. Run! Did you get out? I left her behind! She's dead! <laughs> this is a horrible start. Oh my god. I just got my shit kicked in. This is... Welcome to the death road to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a, a summary of our future experiences. A city and heart! Six months in a row! Just wanted to say hi, hey! Welcome back, thank you for keeping the ESO alive, buddy. Oh, you monster. Actually impossible. That was a great strategy for conserving food, thank you! Yeah, I was thinking about it. Maybe that is what we should do, you know what? Fuck it, this is gonna succeed now. I'm calling it. Less mouths to feed, hell yeah. Look at all this. Who's to say I wasn't just a, a diabolical bastard from the start, right? Because I'm still kicking. I'm still here, baby. Only seen Big Tan play DRIC so far. Yeah, I've seen quite a few, actually. It's doing pretty well on, uh, on the channels I follow. Rightfully so, I think. It's a fun time. Of course it will succeed. You'll never send more zombies at you than you can handle with one character. Right. Just cheesing it, man. Cheese it wherever you can. That's my motto. Nothing more, huh? Okay. You, Jesus! Oh my god, wow. This is getting bad. That's an exit! No, stay here! Oh, fuck! No! God! Alright. I thought I could walk around the edge of the building there, but I was gonna give up my car if I went through to the right. Jesus Christ. Okay, welcome to Death Road to Canada, everybody. How's it going? We're just gonna start off fresh. Hey, look, it's Dominic and Carissa. They're gonna hit the Death Road to Canada. Nothing happened before just now. The group finds a rest stop along the road. It looks very quiet from the outside. That sounds like a good idea. Hey, Artemis. Alright, here we go. This is Death Road to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. It's a... It's an FTL meets Oregon Trail zombie shooting at yamp 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 yamp. Alright, we get... we got it now. I, I needed my warm-up run. 
I figured out my mistakes. We got it. Dr. Sombrero, hey man. Oh, we got, oh my god, we got a bunch of food right here, don't we? This is the mother load. Welcome to the candy shop. Ah! Nice and easy. Don't exhaust yourself. Here we go. Oh my god. Oh my god, the jackpot! Yes! About damn time. Oh, we're gonna find some goodies in the toilet too, aren't we? Oh, this is the real deal now. This is the this is the start I've been looking for. Holy shit, though. Look at this. Okay. Don't have to deal with all this. You just gotta be smart about it. We just gotta w wander, meander, find what's good. Pick up a whole bunch of good weapons, too, at least, so... Oh, god damn it. There we go. Give him another big old whack. There you go. Oh, we're starting to get boxed into a corner a little bit here. Let's just make sure we don't get flanked on either side. Oh, I'm exhausted. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There's a baby Ruth in that toilet, bear. Oh, this... Wow, there are a bunch of supplies in here. Oh, my God. When did it go easy mode on us? Jesus. It's really trying to help me out. More food? God damn. Okay. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Maybe we'll have a repeat experience on the left side. This rest yeah, this rest stop is fucking fantastic. I've never found that many resources in a room. That was great. Now I think we're done, though. All the sparkles throw me off. There we go. Good shit. That was only the first building. There might be more. We're fine here. These guys are just chilling. Hey, fellas. Uh, no, I think it's just going to be the one rest stop, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Still, though, fine by me. How much advice am I looking for? I think I'm gonna... Uh, I'll, I'll wait until I find myself in a situation where I'm not sure of what to do. And then I'll, I'll probably just solicit advice at that point. If it looks like I'm about to do something really, really, really fucking stupid, though, feel free to let me know. The campground that the group sets up smells terrible! The source of the smell is a complete mystery! Oh, do we endure? I don't think I can endure a smell, man. I can maybe, like... I can endure something too bright. Or maybe, like, a sound. But I don't know if I could go to sleep with a nasty smell in the campsite. I think I'm gonna try it, though. A generous bestowal. Owlem Gaming! So you get more money if we donate on Hero with Bits. Has Twitch publicly stated their cut yet? I basically get a penny per bit. As I'm pretty sure is how it works out. The group endures the smell zone all night until passing out. They are not happy in the morning, but they were at least able to sleep. Okay, I think that's probably the the better of two horrible situations. <laughs> no sleep apparently was Jet's response though. Sports sticks like bats and golf clubs are great and, until they break. The group spots an infested city from the road. Scouting it from afar, the group has to decide whether to fight under the noon sun for supplies. From a distance, the group sees something of interest. Is it a bar or a bookstore? I'm gonna go bar. I'm gonna assume that there's a greater chance of finding food at a bar. Maybe some olives in a jar. Or perhaps some discarded cashews. Anything like that? Hey, 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 hold on now. Take it easy, take her easy there, Pilgrim. Got work in the morning, good night. Hey, take it easy, Ascidian. Thanks for keeping the sub up, bud. Get out of there! I'm on the death road to Canada! Cashews, serious bear. What's wrong with cashews? What's wrong with discarded bar cashews? You food elitist. That snack is a national pastime. Ah! Oh, crowbar is my shit now. Uh-huh. 
Let's play this with Life Taffy. We can totally play this together. That's a thing. You can see that happening. Yeah, he really does get exhausted pretty quick, doesn't he? Shit. Oh, we've already been in here, too. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, my goodness. Fucking throwing each other into the building. Alright, she's doing fine. Just... Yep, yeah, there we go. Not on the pun frequency. I, yeah, I think I missed it. Ooh, yeah. That'll do. Hey, we got a buddy! Dominic has seen this kind of thing before. This person clearly drank too much soda, judging from the bottles lying around. Now he's in need of food to even out his blood sugar. There might be some food in near a nearby building. Uh-huh-huh. Oh, a Molotov? Okay. That's pretty damn good. I'll take one of those. How many Molotovs you got for me? One or two, all right. Let's try to find a nice big old gathering of them. Or create one ourselves, even, huh? Is there anything else up here that might- Yeah, I don't think there's gonna be. Oh no, we need to find food in a house nearby, though. Maybe that's this. It looks like that. Here you are! That's pretty great. I like that a lot. Food! Where are you? In the toilet? No? Nice little snack in there. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Uh, there's some bullets. Med kit. Bullets. Not what we're looking for. Did you Molotov the exit? Not yet. Uh, did I miss it? Wonder if it was just in the pub. Or if there's another building over here on the right side or something we can get into. I don't see anything. This music is way too happy when it comes to the zombie apocalypse. It's it's bumping, man. I like it. We've already yeah, we've gone through like this entire area. Just pick up a piece of wood real quick just to make sure we can scout it out safely. Just to double check. Just to make sure, yeah, we're good. You can shut the doors. Oh, you can shut the doors behind the Oh, I didn't even know that. Cool. That's pretty useful. Yeah, we got nothing in here. Okay. Lame. Maybe we could just give him our own food. To the left of the pub. Oh, okay. Uh, this one? That one's blocked off. Unless we- Oh, we might be able to just climb up there, right? I think we could on a couple of those. Those- those big old mounds of brown. Mounds of brown town. I can't actually tell where the entry point is on some of them. Oh, I missed a room. Move the beds? Yeah, we definitely have nothing in here. Oh, I do want to pick up another crowbar, though. Oh, and a Molotov would work pretty damn well. Check this out. Into the crowd! Right next to the fire! That's safe! That hit nobody! <laughs> Good shit, bear! Oh, yeah, well done. Alright. Real quick. Move the beds, someone said. Did I miss a room? I don't think I missed a room. There's two bathrooms here. So it's not that. Get out of there! Come on now, come on, don't get backed in. In the house! Oh, okay, in the house I missed a room. Other house. There is... Nothing behind the bed. Already got this drawer. Just double, triple checking everything. We go left to right here. This is the bathroom. Right side. Nothing. Nothing. Huh. A zombie! Oh, God. There we go. Huh. Okay. Maybe we just don't find the food sometimes or something? I don't know what the... what the story is here. Unless that's something. Is this something? No, that's not anything. Alright. Yeah, it's so good, isn't it, Bernie? No food, huh? Okay, well... Shit. That sucks. I guess he's not coming. Just kill the dude, yeah. 
Uh, leave him alone. Yeah, well. Sorry, man. Didn't find anything. I'm not seeing anything. And it's six o'clock, so I think, yeah, it's probably time to go. All right, well, that's... That sucks. Bye. We did find a decent amount of supplies there, though, at least. Got a little bit of gas out of that. Five days worth, in fact. Pretty damn good. Let's go run over some zombies with the car! Hooray! Oh, that made her morale decrease? Don't be rude. A sea of cars blocks the road ahead. The pileup is so bad that there is no obvious way through. Let's find a new route. Dominic decides to make a detour. The detour goes unexpectedly well! And Dominic is the most neutral person alive. Hooray. That was a fairly good result, I guess. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but it was able to cobble together a campsite. The weather is terrible all night. Dominic's morale decreases. Carissa didn't mind it much, and Carissa's attitude is really good. Okay. Those are acceptable, acceptable results there. Being prepared is one of the most important parts of survival. The group checks out what appears to be a trader settlement. They are instead ambushed by bandits who have taken it over. One of them looks injured. Let's... Uh, I definitely don't want to give them nine food. I think refuse and fight is probably not going to go well for me, so let's try to offer to heal the injury. Dominic offers to heal the injured bandit with his medical know-how. He ends up making things worse. The bandits aren't very happy. We both get hurt, but Dominic's medical increases from terrible to awful. So there's a positive. All right, well, we got fully healed at least a little bit there. Outside of Canada, most of society and civilization has been destroyed. You can still find people engaging in trade, with preserved food being the new currency. We could probably do something here. Let's have a look at what our options are, at least. The group meets a strange and menacing figure. He or she is wearing a, max a mask and a trench coat. I sell axes, just axes. An electric guitar for ten food. That is an axe. That's a pretty sweet axe, in fact, but I don't think I necessarily need that. I think I'm doing okay on weapons for now. I've got two crowbars. Gordon Freeman style. This man is selling anime and anime accessories from a converted food truck. I am doing my part to keep civilization together one anime sale at a time. Ooh, five shuriken for one food. That's a pretty sweet deal. Although I do want an anime figurine. I think we might have to buy an anime figurine for 10 food. Maybe, maybe not this time, but at some point. I definitely need to buy an anime figurine for 10 food. That's gotta happen. But right now, I'm gonna buy no anime. No! Not gonna! Oh wait, does that say four katanas? What? That does say four katanas. That's pretty good. That's a fine deal. Yeah, you know what? I should probably do that. I like that play. The trader gives Carissa an extra katana promotional offer just for you. Ooh. Well, all right then. Cool. We got some katanas, baby. The group finds a dumpster. It's locked tight with a slot on the side. There are weapon names and prices scrawled near the hole. Just drop the food in here, says a tiny voice in the dumpster. One grenade for four food. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. We'll be okay. The katanas are fake and they're rather shitty, actually. All right, awesome. Glad we made that choice. Good to hear. Remember when you wanted us to warn you when you were going to do something awful? <laughs> oh! Oh god, sorry! Wow, that was nearly a huge mistake! <laughs> she comes sprinting after me, wait! Ah, uh, I didn't find any medical supplies. You find a woman in an abandoned town resting in a looted store. She's wearing a cleaning uniform. I wear these clothes because they're comfortable and stain resistant. And I use this mop as a weapon because it's a good weapon, that's all! Stop asking me questions! 
Carl spins her mop rapidly around her waist. That is not a lady's name. Carl. Carl, our, our female companion. Onward to Canada. We gotta recruit. Wonder how bad they have it on the West Coast. Ah, we're doing okay. The group gets confused when driving through a forest. They stop at a cabin to figure out where they are, but get trapped by a roaming horde! Siege alert! There's no escape. Otaku Katana! Serve me well. Carl's got a mop. Have an Otaku Katana, too. How about this? Carissa, double femur, swap that out for an Otaku Katana. Hell yeah. Sir Chill Reeve, guess how long it's been, Bear? One whole year? Hell yeah, man. Thank you for the resub. Welcome back to the pile. I appreciate that. Oh, it's katana time, motherfuckers. Boom! Y'all thought this was a bad idea, huh? How about we swing some katanas in your fucking faces? What kind of opinion do you have now? Sucker? Uh. All right, it broke. That's not good. That's a little worse than I expected. Oh boy. Well, let's get some stuff at least. Lots of food in here. Oh, and check it out. Nail board. Oh, I broke the goddamn chair. Anime! <laughs> oh, goddamn, dude. All right, keep it up. I am fucking exhausted. Their katanas are working fine. What was wrong with my katana? Why'd I get this shitty katana? God damn it. Well, that was pretty effective at least. The siege is now over. Good job, team. Oh my god, run! Oh no, that's a problem. Uh, do I want to walk back to the road? Uh, yes, because I didn't take my car in here, right? So, well, no, hold on, let's see if there's any other stuff we can get from on the other side of this building. Or is that, no, that's the, okay, that's the whole thing, so yeah, let's go. Oh, boy. Cool, we got a lot of food out of that. That's not a bad idea, Dominic. We got no time for that! The group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Dominic plus two medical. He was terrible, wasn't he? Hmm. What do you think, chat? What's the, uh, what's the best choice here? Sieges will kick your ass, just FYI, Bear. I'm sort of assuming that, yeah. I'm, th I'm leaning toward this, even though he's abysmal at it, but that would get him to at least, like, kind of okay. Morale is super important. Morale, oh, okay, we're, like, going morale across the board. All right, yeah, let's go ahead and do that, then. Wow, everyone's morale was pretty bad, too. Okay, I guess I'm kind of glad I did that. And we got medical anyway. Hey, nice. Awesome. That's pretty good. Not bad. We need some medical supplies, though. The group is sitting around a campfire. Finding this campsite was rough, so they are getting in a bad mood. Dominic, let's plan it out tomorrow, buddy. Dominic plans out the next day. It's a good use of time and helps them focus on the big picture. Good old Dominic. God, we need so much friggin' food, though. We're running low on gas as well. The group sees a gigantic hot dog sitting on the side of the road in the middle of a bunch of stores. Maybe it's a hallucination or some sort of trap. The swarm size is very thick. Oh, yeah. Katana's again. It's totally gonna work. She's still got a katana, dude! I don't know what it is about their katanas. They just got the... They got the real shit. Let's boogie. Oh, let's get the goods, man. Let's go get rich. Not in there, though. That's not a good starting place. Oh, God, this swarm is thick. Oh, God, Chad, it's so thick. I can't even get through it. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we're gonna run into some issues here, so I gotta be quick about this. Oh, my God, Ernie's hardware. Ernie's hardware is a mess! It's a catastrophe at Ernie's! Buy one zombie, chop one off for free! Yeah! There's some gas. 
That'll help us out. All right, we're going to run around the side here because I'm totally exhausted. We're going to go all the way over here. There we go. There we go. We're working it. I'm going to pick up the nail board because I can't help but feel like that might be broken in a second. Good. Two by four. That's what I need. Holy shit, this is ridiculous, man. Oh my god. Wow. All right. Here we go. Just ignore them. We're getting up here now. Move it, ladies. Let's go. Oh, check out the horn. We fucking duped them, baby. Let me pick this wrench up real quick, though. I think this is probably better. Now we got it. Now we got it. Nice. Finish him off. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, this team is kicking ass. Oh, we need another weapon for her, though. Shit. That's a gun. Oh, a gun stop. Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, same plan. Here we go. We got to find a gun, though. We really need to find a gun with all this ammo. Oh, God. This might not be that good. Hold on. We got to get out of here. Yeah, this is already causing a problem. Get him. Get him. Get him. I'm exhausted. Oh, boy. All right, we're good. There's a little more ammo in the center there. I don't know if it's worth it to try to run in and get it, though. I think I'm going to leave that one behind. That's just a little bit too dangerous. Out we go. Finish him off. Yeah, you got to get him down. Lock it up. Funny Myers, last one. Holy shit, man. Oh, that's a thick swarm. That's a thick ass swarm. We gotta get out of the we gotta get out of the center. Come on. Come on, guys. We can do it. We're still so exhausted. Okay, just clear out one route here. Duh! No! No! Oh! Oh my goodness! They spooked me. They spooked me for a minute there. I think we're okay. Oh my god, the horde is so intimidating. It's so thick. I gotta, I gotta sneak the food I can grab. And then we gotta sneak around here. There's a little bit more food in the center, but again, that's... Easier said than done. Yeah, we gotta go. There's no way we're grabbing that. Oh shit. Holy shit, man. Her board snapped. What else is there? Oh, it's a hot dog truck. Yeah. Where are the keys? We need the keys. Oh, my God. There's so many places here. Where's the third one? There. Okay, she got in. Are we really going to try to do this again? I don't like it. I don't like it, man. No, they got caught. Oh, no. We lost one. We got to break through this. We got to break through this. Come on, girl. You got it. No. 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 Oh, it's madness. Holy shit, man. Can we get him up in the corner? I lost one. Another down. Where are the fucking keys, man? Jesus Christ! I want the hot dog machine, damn it! Wiener marketing, that's gotta be where it is. That makes too much sense. Ah! No! This way. I got him! I got the keys, let's go! Get the hell out of here! Run, 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 run! Oh! No way! Keep going! Fuck the last place, let's get out! Get in the car! Get in the car! Get in the other door, you dummy! Why'd you do- Oh my god! Go! Run, 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 run! Oh! <laughs> oh my god, we made it!
Oh boy. Carl's medical revealed. The group has asked for help by a settlement. They say they will be raided by bandits soon. If the group helps with the defense, they will get a reward of 15 food, some ammo, and a cowboy rifle. Yeah! Dominic tries to build up the settlement's defenses. He tries to fortify some things, but the efforts didn't seem to help much against the vicious bandit, bandit attack. The wounded settlers accuse Dominic of wasting their time and refuse to give the reward. Carl is hurt. Oh, man, no. Carl! Carl! Group finds an isolated car garage. The sign says, Master Tuners. They find some gas and lots of spare parts in good condition. Car repair and tune-up. Dominic tries to repair the car in the hopes that it gets a little further before breaking down. The repairs take a good part of the day and are very difficult. The car runs like new. The car looks undamaged. Nice! Dominic's medical is really, or, uh, mechanical is really good. We lost some food, okay. Not too bad, not too shabby. We've got a lot of gas. The group finds an empty spot along the road that looks as good as for camping as any. They eat a decent meal. We're down to two food. Our morale is going to be plummeting if we don't get some more food soon. From a distance, the group spots someone fleeing from an angry horde. They disappear into an apartment building. We gotta go. We gotta go. We got another katana. From Mop Lady. Dominic is rocking the wrench crowbar crowbar still, so he's probably okay. Let's give her the femur. Alright. We're both nearly dead. Extremely loud and incredibly close. But we can do this. We're gonna get a bunch of supplies out of this, get some food, get some medical stuff. Some bullets, why not? Give that a whirl. We're gonna be fine, man. Oh boy, yeah, yeah, I gotta get in here. There's an armoire or something though over there that I do not want to leave behind. I'm already getting kind of exhausted. She's doing fine. She's kicking ass. Holy shit, I gotta be her, I think. She is the superior being here. Take it slower since you're so close to death. I probably should, yeah. Oh goodness. That's a, that's a Richard Hammer zombie, right before he shaved his beard. Okay, okay. Bear, I haven't seen this game before, can you tell me what it's like using only four letter words? Um... Game... Play... Same... Unto... FTL... Period. Does that count? And that's not a four-letter word. No, it's it's hard. <laughs> I can't do it. It's, it's real good. Good music. FTL organ trail combo, sort of, with a lot of the uh, events and whatnot. Did I find any medical supplies yet? I feel like I haven't. There's one. Hey, all right. Suck my wrench. There we go. And doesn't count. <laughs> the can counts. Count also doesn't count. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay. Uh, problems have arisen. Let's just funnel them in, I guess. This is gonna be the best way we can handle this, I suppose. I want to let her deal with most of the problems, I think, though, just because she's so much better at melee. My God, she's awesome. She is a fucking. Badass babe, yes! Go, Carl, go! Oh my god, I keep destroying chairs. Okay, I am exhausted. Batter him over the head. There's another katana strike. And there might not be anything in here, but it's probably worth killing this one zombie. Come on, little lady. Hi ho, hot dog. How you doing, man? Alright, nothing, damn. No problem. Get him, yep. Still got lots more doors in here, so we still got plenty of places to check out. Oh, our katana finally broke, okay. Down to the femur now. Oh shit, we're getting surrounded here. Junk! 
That is unacceptable. Don't go that way. What are you doing? You're crazy. Here we go. Give me something good. Oh my goodness. Anime is dead. It lasted us sort of well. Hey, right, Venom. How you doing, man? Two more doors. Hey, you look like a... Like someone that might want to talk to us. Darren says that he really wants to get out of this place. Absolutely follow me around, buddy. He could be useful if you can get out of here alive, or a handy distraction if you can. That's a bad attitude. I think I should probably start using a couple of my crowbars. Of course, welcome the extra firepower. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's get out of here. One more door. Bam. Did you win London Bear? I did. I did win r one round. That was like the very first one, and then I had acceptable performances throughout the rest of it. How you doing, man? Go follow my buddy twitch.tv slash sinvicta, if you would, please. Good guy. What the hell was that noise? Did y'all hear that? Am I crazy? Is it trying to give me some sort of indication that I need to leave or something like that? Oh my god. Yeah. Oh wait, there's my uh, yeah. There's one more thing here, isn't there? And a kitchen knife. Oh okay. Oh, she picked it up, didn't she? Yeah. All right, good. Do less damage and swing slower when your character is tired. Got it. Yep, yep, yep. God, this music is so good. Hey, other things, man. Glad to have you. It is. It's that's true. It is actually impossible to win London 2012. That's a fact. A scientifically documented fact. Okay, we have cleaned house here, I think. Not too shabby. Good amount of supplies, I'll take it. We got some food, we got a little bit of medical. That's what we needed. Darren catches up with the group at a safe spot. He offers a reward and thanks for saving him. I can't really... I, can, I don't think I can bring him onto the team. So group first aid seems like a pretty damn good idea. Oh, y'all hear the uh, ice cream truck outside of bed too, don't you? Morale pep talk. I don't think we need that. I think this is the best idea. Although this could probably be pretty useful, but we already have a pretty good me mechanic on the team. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Huh? Hell yeah! Oh man, that's nice. We get the uh, we get to keep the medical supplies as a result of that too. Five bandits ambush the group while they are about to sneak into a zombie-infested house. The bandits speak in a half whisper, afraid to tr attract some undead attention. They say to hand them over some supplies, or they'll yell. Literally did the opposite of clean house bear. You fucking wrecked the place. <laughs> True. Let's call their bluff. <sighs> Carl calls the bandits bluff. One of the bandits yells and chaos erupts as the zombies swarm out. We got hurt. <laughs> Shit. Oh, well, there we go. We got the, uh, got the healing done anyway. The group comes across a house by the road. It's locked. While trying to smash the door down, a voice calls out. Hey, leave my door alone, you dinks! Carl, I'm not a dink! You are an especially huge dink, you dink! Carl is infuriated and smashes on the door for a while. The group ends up leaving shortly after. I'm not a dink, you're a dink! Carl, poor Carl. Oh, her poor sense of self-worth. Just plummeting. The group sets up camp late. On the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but many should have left a little bit of gas. Would you like to send someone to siphon out the gas? Absolutely. Go for it, Dominic. Yeah. Dominic siphons the gas, but accidentally swallows a bit and gets really, really sick that night instead of sleeping. Icky. But we did get 50 gas. My morale improved a little bit as a result of the decent meal, too. Alright. We are out of food now. Unfortunately. The group feels a sense of dread. Something dangerous is coming. The road seems like it's getting steadily more crowded with the undead and they're getting riled up. Well, I don't have any food, but I guess it's probably worth it to go here anyway and see what's going on. Hello! The group talks to a meek-looking woman. She invites you to check out her collection of rifles! Can't get anything. 
All right. Fans of man selling a bunch of firearms. No can do. At least I still got my wiener mobile, right? Oh, boy. How do you accidentally swallow gas? Well, I imagine he was probably, like, trying to suck the gas out of the... out of the tank with his mouth using, like, a pipe or something, or, like, a, a tube. Oh, boy. Well, we're gonna... We're gonna have some trouble if I don't find any food here. Drives up to a house and sees that the zombies were angry before they got there. They are hunting and they are moderate. But we gotta get in there, damn it. All right, let's go. Oh boy, yeah, that's a good start, okay. Just knock them all on the fuck out now and let's get up here, actually, oh my god. Wow, this is already really bad. Run, 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 you gotta get out of there, okay, very good. Way too many fucking zombies to start us off with here, holy shit. Got a food, all right, there's one, we need like three more. And he is already exhausted, dude. Wow. And they are pissed off. There's our three food, though. Don't die, Carl! Run! Run, Carl, run! Oh my god, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. No! Carl, no! What are we gonna do, Carl? They're so pissed off! Carl, run! Get out of there, Carl! Yes! Oh my god. Okay. Holy crap. We gotta move quick, man. That horde is ridiculous. Hit it, Carl. There we go. Alright, nothing from there. Ooh, we got a little bit of stuff. Looks like rifle ammo. And a hatchet. I'll take that. That's not bad at all. That's quite usable, in fact. One more food. God, I think I'm gonna be in a bit of a pickle when we end up coming back out of this room, man. More rifle ammo. I can't fucking finish anyone off. This is ridiculous. She got out of there. All right, we're exhausted again. Oh, I can close the door. That's right. I always forget about that. That is a good point. Okay, not bad. We're exhausted again! Oh my god! Got him. Rifle ammo. And another food! Nice! Shit! Backed into a corner, holy hell. We're so exhausted, man. We're hurting so weakly right now. I'm in a fucking bathroom, this is such a bad idea. Owie! Get out of there, Carl! Come on! No! Carl! Why? Not my buddy Carl! Oh, goodness. That's on me. Dominic finds a book in good condition among the ruined magazines and books. 1001 Exercises Anywhere. Fine by me. Okay, we... We may survive still. Let's hope so. Oh my god, I, I just... I should not be here anymore. Fuck me. Oh god, no. <laughs> okay, well... Let's try to dance around him a little bit. Breakthrough one, maybe? Nope, let's go like that. Okay, there we go, we got it. Anything worthwhile in here? Probably not, yep. That's not looking good. Run, 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 run. Run, run, run. Fuck! 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 No! No! Ugh. Oh, this is awful. I don't know about this. Get it! Oh my god! Okay. Okay. Get the hell out of my way! God damn! Oh! Leave! Six food! 
Dominic now has the book 1001 Exercises. He reads it and absorbs the knowledge. Fitness revealed. The boy who lived. I only regret that I'm a dink. Dominic meets, meets another survivor who rants about seeing an oiled up bodybuilder that was too swole to control. Ripping zombies in half after bench pressing them. Fuck yeah! I want to meet that person. Where are they? Oh, Dominic is real sad and hurting a lot. But the night passes and Dominic moves on. And we are out of gas! God damn it. Car abandoned. No more hot dog car. While walking alone along the dirt road, Dominic thought that they spotted a car in the distance. It was only when they got close to it that they realized it was just a giant rock. And he got real sad. Continues walking through the countryside. It is very uneventful, but at least there are no zombies or dangers in sight. For the first time in a long time, they are able to drop their guard and walk in some sort of peace. Well, that's nice at least. Dominic is hiking down a gravel road when he sees a group of wrecked cars ahead. Chances are there's some gasoline in some cars and one may still work. Alright, we're just plowing through a massive horde to try to find a working vehicle. Let's get the hell out of here. Run, run, run. No time to dilly-dally. Preserve my strength for big hits. Ooh. Food! Food! Oh, no, 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 no! Oh god! Damn it! I mean, dang it! I died on the death road to Canada. Dead. Dead. Rip. Oh man, well, a valiant effort. <laughs>